All right, this is Nick from Buffalo Pinball, and today we're going to do a cleaning tutorial, pinball cleaning tutorial. And this is actually the second one I've done. I did a pinball cleaning tutorial over uh, actually five years ago now, back in 2016. And I think it's a good tutorial. A lot of the stuff is gonna be the same, but at the time I live streamed it, so the tutorial is over like an hour long. I wanted to create a resource where I kind of update some of my cleaning methods and also provide something that's more condensed, like a shorter video, so it's easier to kind of just watch it really quickly and then jump into cleaning it. Uh, if you haven't seen that video and you, you, you want more than just this, then watch this one and then you can go and watch me clean it live, which is really exciting stuff. But this should suffice in knowing everything you need to know about cleaning a play field. And just for a little bit of background, I've owned pinball machines for over 10 years now, and I have a touch of OCD. So I'm really particular, and I research the heck out of what I'm doing, and I've, and I've really wanted to keep my games well-maintained. And my first game ever was an Iron Man, and I look at that game today, and uh, through these cleaning methods, the game looks like it might as well be new. Thank you, Jungle Lord. He's gonna be talking a lot. All right, so to start off with, uh, you might wanna write this down, jot this down, grab a pen and paper. Uh, pause it. There we go. Back. Uh, we're going to talk about the materials that you need. And my philosophy on this is less is more, right? Um, the materials that I use to clean the play field, a lot of them are going to be the same in that original video. And this is through, you know, years of research, experience, and um, just kind of what the industry is using. Also, um, you know, a lot of my research is, is based on what vid on Pinside is posted. He's done a fantastic job. So if you want more detailed kind of analysis of why we're using what we're using and what's going on, check out um, the, the pinball playfield cleaning thread on Pinside by Vit. He did a fantastic job. All right, I'm going to go through uh, the materials that you'll need and I'll talk about when and how to use them. All right, so the first one up is Novus. This is going to be Novus 1. All right, see that Novus 1? You can get that from Amazon. Really easy. Um, the way you use Novus One is on the playfield. It's safe to use it on the playfield. Now, here's the caveat: only use this on clear-coated playfields. You don't. This is this is watery. You don't want to use this on playfields that aren't clear-coated. All right. You never want to put anything that's kind of water-based on playfields that aren't clear-coated. We'll talk in a second about what to use, but do not, do not, do not use Novus One. Novus. One is for clear-coated playfields. It's for the plastic. It's for the ramps. Okay, um, it's it's a good product for kind of general cleaning. I'll get into specifics a little bit later. Um, use on ramps, plastics, etc. So that's for clear-coated playfields. That's Novus One. Next product you'll need or you want to have on hand is Novus Two. Okay, now stop there. Don't get Novus Three. Novus Three you do not need. Novus Two you should have on hand, but you got to be careful with Novus 2. Novus 2, unlike Novus 1, is slightly abrasive. All right, So when you're rubbing it on your play field, it's going to take off some of the clear or some of the paint. Now, you know how much is it really taking off? I, I don't know. Right? It's like microscopic. Right? You'd probably have to really use some elbow grease and polish or use this a lot to really do any sustained kind of long-term damage that you'll notice. But every time you are rubbing on the play field, it is abrasive. So you are taking off some of the clear. So you want to be careful and you don't want to use this often at all. It's more or less like when you use this. That's that's key. Um, you can use Novus 2 on, on the play field. You can use it on um, sometimes like targets on the game. Get like dirt on them. As long as they don't have a sticker on it. Be careful with that. But you know like the stand-up targets or, or drop targets. I'll have dirt on them. Ball, ball marks, right? So I'll use Novus 2 to take that off and scrub it off. All right. Um, this is kind of the more heavy duty stuff. We'll talk about specifics soon, but that's Novus 2, grab some of that. Oh, you can also use it on Mylar too. All right, Mylar, Mylar play fields. Um, you can use, uh, when Mylar is on a play field, you can use it to, to clean it up. It works great. All right, next on the list, let's see, Naphtha. So this was not in the, Naphtha was not in the original video I did five years ago. I just started using this. And I was a little apprehensive because, um, you know, it says thins enamels and varnish and uh, cleans greasy, waxy, oily surfaces and machine parts. This is pretty heavy duty. This is like toxic stuff. It's got warnings about ventilation. 
Right. I mean, this is the kind of like be careful stuff. I wear a, a, a mask when I use this because it's in my basement. I don't have a lot of airflow. I don't want to be huffing in these fumes. I don't, also don't want to be using this stuff a lot, but it can do a fantastic job in certain situations. Uh, the, I think the number one situation where you want to use naphtha is on a play field that's not clear coated. All right. And the reason for that is that it's not going to destroy the wood. If you use a water based product, on a play field that's not clear coated uh, that water based product wood and water not a good combo right it's just going to start destroying the wood over time you don't want to use that now Novus 2 as we talked about you could use it on a play field that's not clear coated but it's abrasive so you're gonna be wearing into the paint potentially so what do you use right this is the this is the this is a tough thing well you use some naphtha and again i didn't really cover that in the first video so this is the, the big difference um, you just put a little bit on a microfiber uh, towel, I kind of tip it over, put a little bit on a towel, clean the section, you know, that's going to start dirting, put a little bit, put a little more naphtha on my microfiber, and then clean the play field that way, all right? And it's really good at pulling up a lot of dirt, all right? And you can also use it on a clear coated play field. I, I use it as well. Again, I'll talk about kind of what scenarios to use it on, but you want to grab yourself some naphtha. I got this from Home Depot. Um, it's easy to find. It's like eight bucks. Next on the list, let's see. Here we go. Next on the list, you're gonna to wanna to get um, some high quality wax. And uh, the one that Vid recommends, this is where I learned about this, is uh, One Grand Blitz Wax. It is uh, uh, Carnaba Wax. I've used a number of waxes over the years and I find that I, I, I do go with this one since it's recommended, I, I do like it. I think it is the best. Um, one thing I like about it is that unlike other wax waxes that have a lot of kind of petroleum in there so that you can apply them right they're a little more liquid well the problem with those waxes is they stink man you're, you're bringing you're breathing in chemicals and again we want to minimize that this this does not have a strong chemical smell that's why I like it um, yeah highly recommend highly recommend uh, uh, blitz wax and just like with Novus one and Novus 2, the way you're gonna apply this is just simply take a microfiber towel. This says specifically don't get the towel wet at all. You don't need to. Rub the microfiber towel, get some wax on it. Not a ton either. You don't want a lot of wax on the game and just start rubbing it in circular motions into the play field. Um, it should go on to an extent where it's not super visible. You can see a little bit, especially catching the light, but you don't want it, you don't want it to be thick. If you're putting on thick, only a, a small amount of the wax is actually gonna stay on the play field. If it's thick, you've got excess wax. And part of the, one thing I don't like about this or one thing to be cautious of is that it leaves a lot of kind of like wax dust or crumbles. So you've gotta do a really good job when you use uh, this one grand blitz wax to wipe it down. Just take your time, wipe it down so you get all the wax off. And again, light, light, light. That's, that's the magic to it. And uh, that will do a fantastic job of protecting your play field. We'll talk about the order and, and when to use in a moment. Okay, next. You guys probably figured this out, but you're going to want some microfiber towels. All right. I, uh, I don't use fancy microfiber towels. I don't spend a ton on microfiber towels. I, uh, I just got some from Amazon, probably the Amazon recommended one. It's good enough for a pinball play field for me, even with my OCD. It's pretty cheap. I think you get like 24 of these for 12 bucks. It's 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 a, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Um, but again, when you're using Novus 1, Novus 2, using um, the naphtha, you're using the wax, using microfiber towels, use different towels for the different product. Don't, you know, kind of rotate and, and turn the product, um, the towels over when you start seeing dirt. You know, you don't want to pick up dirt from the play field and continue rubbing dirt onto your game. You're going to put scratches in it. So use clean size, wipe it down, use a clean side etc. Microfiber towels are your friends. And then here's a pro tip. When you are washing microfiber towels, okay, and wash it in your washer. That's good. Use some hot water. And um, when you're drying it, do not put a dryer sheet in there. You do not want to put a dryer sheet that will ruin uh, the microfiber towel. There you go. And then you can use these for years and years. Next on the list is glass cleaner. So you could use Windex. All right, and I've used Windex forever, but um, if you have Invisiglass, so Invisible Glass is a product you can get. I have it on my Jersey Jack pinball machines. They come standard. 
you can't use Windex because Windex will have stuff that will will, will remove the um, chemicals that's over the Invisiglass that gives it that invisible glass look. Uh, so what they recommend for Invisiglass is uh, 50% a mixture of 50% water. So this is my um, this is my spray bottle I got from Amazon. All right, so you can see my terrible handwriting. This is when I, I, I dilute this, I put 50% water in here, and then I put 50, um, the other 50% is 91% alcohol. All right, just make a mixture of that. And I like this so much, this is my go-to glass cleaner for all my games. Even though I can use Windex on the other games, this does a better job. <laughs> it's, it's, it's remarkable, it doesn't streak at all. It does a good job, wipes up everything. Um, it's cheaper than, than Windex. Just get yourself a bottle, make that concoction, and you're good to go. I also would recommend that when you use water for this, buy distilled water. All right, don't use water out of the faucet. I don't know if it's going to be a big deal, but water from your faucet has minerals in it. Uh, distilled water doesn't. Distilled water is like a dollar a gallon at your supermarket. So distilled water, 91% alcohol. It's a 50-50 mix. Now you've got pinball glass cleaner. This is for your pinball glass. Invisiglass, regular glass. There you go. I mean, you just cleaned your game. You want to be able to see it, and you want it to, to look good, right? So clean the pinball glass. Okay. And then, last but not least, what you're going to want to have on hand is brand new pinballs. Brand new pinballs. So you've done all that. You've cleaned the game. Well, one of the, the, the worst thing you can do to your pinball machine is to put, uh, put in pinballs that have dings or scratches or are starting to rust because as it rolls around the game, those, those pinballs will destroy. It's like sandpaper, all right? Nothing will destroy your pinball machine so quickly as having bad pinballs that are damaged in there. And this goes for even the new pinballs that you get from you know, a Jersey Jack machine or a Stern machine or Spooky, whatever. Just throw whatever they send to you in the, from the factory in the trash and use a better pinball. I um, currently am using Titan pinballs, not only because they're a sponsor, uh, they're, they're a fantastic company and sponsor, and when you use the coupon code BUFFLE, you'll save 10%. But I've had trouble from other uh, pinball companies when I've ordered pinballs coming to me, and then I would look at them, because you, you want to inspect them before you put in there. Make sure they're good, right? I've ordered new ones, and I've had whole batches that had flaws all over them. Now, you know, if I didn't really examine them, I probably thought they were fine, but that's the kind of stuff that will ruin your pinball machine. Ins inspect them. But I go with the ones from Titan. They have two versions. One's like a super shiny one. But just a note of caution, if your game has magnets in it, um, usually the super shiny ones can get magnetized. So just be careful. There's instructions on the website. But um, I just get the regular basic ones from Titan, and they look phenomenal. They, they've been holding up. And every one that I've pulled out of the box so far has been good. So um, there's a plug for them and, and well worth it. Let's talk about the topic of when. When do you clean your pinball machine? That's a, that's a good. That's a good one. Nick, how many plays should should I? Uh, how many plays should I? 100 plays after 200 plays after three months after six months. Well, I can't give a definitive time because you know you might have to play a game like Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings one game could take 30, 40 minutes, right? So it's not like oh after 100 games. Um, the easiest way to know when to clean a pinball machine is when you start to see. Uh, ball lines of dirt on the play field. And what I mean by that is when you look at the in lanes, um, the in lanes by the flippers, the rollovers, all right, you're going to start to see eventually um, ball marks the, where the ball rolls over. You're just going to see a line of dirt. That's kind of a good indication that, hey, maybe it's time to clean. You don't want those ball lines to get embedded in your pinball machine. So if the rest of the game looks good and you're not seeing really dirt anywhere else, then maybe you just take uh, a Novus One spray it on a thing and see if you can get it up right and, and get those ball lines off and keep on playing maybe put a little wax down there but you don't necessarily have to do the whole machine uh, but it's usually a good indication that it's time to clean the entire machine so that's what i look for i look for ball ball line marks some games get dirtier than others like my sopranos machine which i'm looking at right now in front of me um for whatever reason maybe it's the the safe toy on there but it spews a lot of dirt on the play field um, you know, it's usually dirt on the play field. It's like coil dust from uh, the flippers and pop bumpers and all this stuff that gets kicked up. Usually that's what the dirt is. Sometimes rubber's crumbling. Um, that's, what, uh, that's what's going on there, right? So that's what you got to take care of. 
And I just remembered I forgot one product. I'm so sorry. This is a new product that I didn't mention. I don't, I don't think in the original uh, cleaning video. So let's take a look at that one. God, it would have been terrible if I forgot that. Here we go. You've got uh, CP100. All right, CP100. This is for cleaning uh, rubbers or even the silicone rings on your pinball machine. Uh, it's kind of like it, like something like 90% naphtha. Uh, I, I don't I wouldn't use naphtha on it. I would just use this. You put this on. I just put it on a paper towel. I don't get my uh, microfiber super dirty. Put a little bit. You know, turn it over. Put a little bit on a paper towel, and then take that paper towel and wipe it on your your flipper rubbers, your your slingshot rubbers, any of the rubber on your game, and you'll be amazed at how much dirt you're gonna take off of those rubbers. Right? This is gonna increase the um, the you know the life of those rubbers by keeping them fresh, by keeping them clean, and it's also taking up a lot of dirt that's accumulated on that. Right? So you just cleaned your game, but if you have dirt all over the rubbers. Well, then the ball's gonna pick up um, that dirt and your game's gonna be dirty in no time. So CP100 is a great product. I think it says something like this that you can use on your play field. Do not, do not use it on your play field. Just use it on the rubbers. This is only used on the rubbers, period. And you'll be happy with those results. All right. So we talked about what you need and we talked about when to clean your game. Let's talk about specific games and kind of the order of when, how to use these products. First, let's talk about a game that's not clear coded. Um, most games before like the early 90s, I think basically all games before the early 90s are not clear coded. Starting in the early 90s, they clear coded all pinball machines. So if you got an older game, this is where you've got to be careful. You do not use Novus One. Here's the order of what you use. Uh, to clean the game, use Naphtha. Naphtha is going to be safe. It's not going to do any damage to the actual play field. So use that as we discussed. Wear, wear, wear a mask for ventilation, right? Okay. Um, and get a good mask too, like you know, uh, like a mask you would use if you're spray painting, right? Or, or doing some heavy painting. Um, then see how it is, right? Did, did, did the dirt come up? Does it look good? Great. If it came up and looked good, then the next step is simply to go to waxing the game. All right. If naphtha couldn't remove some dirt, you got some embedded. Well, the next step would be to use Novus 2. Now, as we discussed, Novus 2 is abrasive. You want to be careful in using it. You want to use it too much, but it's okay when you have dirt that just nothing else will take it up. Novus 2 should do a good job. And then finally, on some older games, you're going to see, you're going to see ball swirl marks. This is where the dirt is really embedded into the game. You could, you could there is a product that you could use to remove those ball swirl marks, and that's called Magic Eraser. You can take um, some 90% alcohol, put it on the magic eraser and rub it in there. Be very cautious, be very cautious. I've, I've done it in the past and I've taken up some paint. This will take up paint off a play field. Um, it's really easy to do. It will also get the ball swirl marks out and make your game look good, but it's really easy to do. So, you know, I've got a, I did it years ago and I cleaned up um, a Grand Prix, it looked nice. I damaged the Gorgar a little bit. I've got a jungle lord back there, the guy who won't shut up, and I've got ball swirl marks, and I'm not messing with it. I don't want to do. I don't want to use magic erase because I just am too afraid to take the art off. So, use an abundance of caution. But that's the order. So, naphtha, you know, least kind of least intensive way, safest way. If naphtha doesn't do the trick, then Novus two. And if you're really feeling ballsy, magic erase. But magic erase is like a one and done. That's like a one time you're restoring a game kind of deal. And then you're gonna wax the game with the blitz wax. And then you're going to go and use the paper towel and the CP100 and clean the rubbers on the game. And you're done. That's how you do an older game that's not clear-coded. Let's talk about a clear-coded game. How do you clean a clear-coded game? Well, you're going to use Novus 1. Because it's clear-coded, Novus 1 is safe to use. If the game's not super dirty, spraying some Novus 1 on a microfiber towel, wiping it down, that will provide some lubrication. That will help you pick up the dirt on the play field. Um, you could use naphtha if you want, but I prefer not to. If the game's not super dirty, I don't want to be busting out you know these heavy toxic chemicals. Even though it's safe for the play field, it's not safe for my health. Let's use Novus One. All right, so that's a like a light clean is Novus One. Throw on some wax and then CP100. If it's a if it's a, a, a dirty game, if it's a you just bought a game from somebody or it's a routed game or something like that. It's got a lot of dirt on it. You can try Novus One first. 
All right, you can start with that and see what dirt you can pick off. Then you can use some naphtha. Then, if there's still dirt that Novus 1 and naphtha didn't take off, then use some Novus 2, okay? And Novus 2 should take everything off after that point. And then wax it, and then CP100. And there you go. If you follow this system, you know, you start cleaning it when you see ball marks, you use good wax, then most of your cleaning is just going to be Novus 1 on clear-coated games. You shouldn't be busting out naphtha a lot. Right, you should almost never. If you if you stay on top of your games, your games should not get so dirty to the point that you have to be busting out Novus Two. Honestly, my Novus Two just doesn't get touched for the most part. It's just done. It's just sitting there as like a last resort. Sometimes you're going to get ball trail marks on the in lanes that are just man, they're embedded in there, and you'll use Novus Two. I think um, one thing I want to bring up about the naphtha that's important is that naphtha will remove wax from the game, all right? Novus 1 won't. So when you use naphtha, realize you're pulling up uh, um, all that wax that has been on a game. It's okay, you know, when you're cleaning a game and you, 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 you've you waxed it maybe three months ago and then you're you're like, oh, it needs a clean. I'm gonna use Novus 1, okay, that, that took up the dirt and I'm gonna put wax. So you're kind of putting wax on top of wax. That's okay. Sometimes doing a, a, a maybe a deeper once a year clean where you take naphtha, and you're like, you know what, I want to just get all that wax off and kind of start fresh. That's okay as well. That's okay as well. But again, use sparingly. All right, guys, I hope that's helpful. I kind of gave you a battle plan to of what materials to use, how to clean, when to clean, some safety guidelines. You don't need any other materials other than that when cleaning a, a play field. That will keep your games looking like new. It's not impossible. It's easy enough to do. It doesn't take a ton of time. Um, I'll catch you later.